Guys, thanks for joining me today. Welcome back to the channel. So I wanna talk about EV charging. One thing that's unique with, uh, with charging an electric vehicle is it's different than obviously filling up a gas car. But most of the cars, when you buy them new, like you buy a new Tesla, like I just got this uh, two or three weeks ago, it does not come with any home charging equipment. It doesn't come with the charger cords, the cables, the things you install at your house. So you have to get that set up. You have to buy that. And there are some great options, third-party options. This is one from Emporia. This is a level two home charging unit. It charges at 40 amps on a 50 amp breaker. It plugs right in. This is the plug for it. It plugs right into my NEMA 1450 plug that I already have in my garage. So let me show you some of the features, some of the benefits to this, and we'll go through just setting this up and show you how it charges, charges this Tesla. So this charger comes in two variants. This is the black color, and this is the plug-in version that has the 1450 plug on it. There's another version where you can get it where it's hardwired, so it wouldn't have this plug on it. It would just hardwire. You'd hard hardwire directly a uh, 6.3 or you know a 6-gauge wire right into this and it can be hardwired. If you want to run it on a 60 amp breaker, you'd do that. The most that this can take is a 50 amp breaker, and then any of these chargers can only run at 80% of the breaker rating. So at a 50 amp breaker, it'll run at a, it'll put out 40 amps of charging power. It also is a universal charger, so it does come with the J1772 charging plug. And for Teslas, you need to use your adapter. Now, all Teslas come with that. If you don't have that, I'll leave a link to one, but this adapter just would plug onto this and you could charge this car or you could charge any electric car with this type of plug. So this is a nice universal plug. It also has a nice cap on the end here that we can just cover that up when we're not using it. That would keep any kind of weather, dirt, debris out of, out of the end of that charging plug. Also, we get here the instruction manual. The instructions are very clear, very easy to read. We're going to go through the installation process. We do get some drywall anchors here. We get some screws to mount this. We have a, a like an Allen key to take off the bracket. On the back of the charger, there's a bracket that will just take off the screws of this. We'll mount this metal part to the wall, and then we can mount this, the box, to this. One thing that's unique with this charger that I haven't seen on any other charger, and I really like this, is there's a plug holder right here. This plug holder mounts right on the back of the charger here, but what this does is this is gonna hold the handle, the plug handle, and the reason I like this is because with, as a Tesla owner, I only own Teslas, this will hold this, will hold this plug even when, the, adapt, even when the, the Tesla adapter's on there. Towards the front of the car, here is my NEMA 1450 outlet. I had this installed when I first got my electric car four years ago. I would say if you're looking at a car, you, you need to get a plug. I would go with this route because this can, this type of plug, it's the NEMA 1450. Any electrician can install this. It doesn't have to be an electric car specialist. But when my electrician installed this, they installed it towards the front of the car. Ideally, I'd want it towards the back, but this was as far over as they could get it based on where the house ended and and the ease of and the cheapest way to do it basically this will still reach the nice thing is this thing has a 24 foot cable that comes off of the box so it could go 24 feet easily go there i could even charge something in my driveway that would back into it so i would recommend getting the nema 1450 plug installed and then this emporia level 2 charger will just plug into that and i'm going to mount it right here on this spot next to it so to get this ready to install on the wall, I'm just going to get my drill here. You need a drill or a screwdriver. I'm just going to remove the screws from this bracket here. And then there's one on each side on the top here. I'm just going to remove those. So we'll get this installed as well as the plug holder. I have this piece of wood here. This is where I mount my chargers. So I'm going to mount this on here. I'm just going to get the screw started and I'm going to put my level on it to make sure that we get this level. All right, so I'm just checking the level. Look, looks level right there, so I'm just going to put my other screw in right here. The included screws that it comes with, there's several of these that it comes with. They're very long, so if uh, you ideally want to install this into, into the studs, but if you can't get the studs, it does come with the anchors that you can anchor into drywall, so there's multiple uh, points that will hold this down. It makes it very secure. I'm putting it right into wood, so I'm just using a smaller little wood screw to hold these in there. We're going to slip this plug holder on just in the slots right here. This hole matches up with this hole right there. And then I'll be able to put the screw through both of those and that's gonna help keep it solid right there. Now, if for some reason your application doesn't allow you to put it right here, you can install this. There is three screw holes this. So if I wanted to install the plug holder over here or in a different location, I could. I think it works well right here next to the charger. 
All right, with the bracket installed, I'm ready to mount this up there. So there's just those four screws that just hold this on there. So I'm just gonna get this into place like that. And then I'll just get my drill and put all four screws in. All right, so that is it for installing this as far as setting it up on the wall. Really simple. I already had this already piece already set up, but really the hardest part is just going to be, you know, finding the studs, getting it anchored to the wall, getting this set up. That's really simple. And then if you can see here, my plug, this NEMA 1450 plug will fit very easily right through here. Let's plug that in. We already got power. This plug handle will just sit like that. Very accessible, very easy. So if I have my Tesla adapter plug on here, this can just be hung right on there. I don't have to worry about taking the adapter off and clicking it in somewhere. This is a great design. I really, I really like the functionality of this, the ease of use. All, because this is a 24 foot cord, we can wrap it around here when we're not using it. And here's the charger with the cable all wound up around it. You can see it wraps around a few times and how easily that just sits right there easy to take that on and off. So in order to charge my Tesla, I just have to put on my adapter here. So all, all Teslas come with the, one of these, so I could leave this. So when I'm, when I'm done charging, I can just leave the, the adapter on. I don't have to keep taking this on and off. That's been my biggest complaint of other J1772 universal chargers is you can't really store the plug that well because there's an adapter on there. So this one has a great solution for that. Now this does have a Wi-Fi option, so it has an app. We can download. We can download the app. We'll connect this to Wi-Fi. There's some great features on the app. For example, like time of use, we can set up time of use where the car will only charge during certain times when energy is the cheapest, so electricity is the cheapest. Also, if you have solar panels, you can set it up so that when excess power is being generated by the solar panels, maybe right in the, in the middle of the day, th it can also be used to charge the car. So there's some, great, th there's some great functions with this that really help maximize your charging, your efficiency, and keep your costs as low as possible. It's the Emporia Energy app. So if we get that, download it, we're just gonna create an account. So now we've got the app, we've logged in with our account. It asks us what product we want to add. We want, we want to do an Emporia EV charger right here. I'm gonna go directly to setup here. Okay, it sensed my charger right there. Connect into the device. And your Wi-Fi password, you'll be able to log it. It'll be able to set up the Wi-Fi on the device. Before we set up the breaker, now I do know that this plug here has a 50 amp breaker. So that one has 50 amp breaker, 40 amp max. That's the default option. You can change that if you have a different I can set a pin number if I want. Checking for updates, if there's any firmware updates, it can do that. We can see different graphs and see how much power we've used. So we haven't used any yet. Here's the management section where we can do time of use, peak demand management, excess solar management, uh, utility program, savings opportunities. So this has a great, I haven't seen a lot of these options in other apps. I, so I really like that they have, they really try to maximize your electricity use all right, with the setup on the app, and it's ready to go, it's plugged into the wall. Let's try this on the Tesla. So let's take our plug off here. We're gonna un unwind some of the cord, and we're gonna stretch it to the back of the car here. Again, we have 24 feet of cable, so this could stretch out quite a ways. Okay, I'm stretched out all the way to the back of the car here, so it could go quite a ways. Let's, let's open up our charge port here. So again, we have our Tesla adapter on the end here so that we can plug in there. We just plug in like we do normally. Let's get inside the car and see what kind of charging rates we're going to get. So the car automatically recognizes that the max amperage that it can pull is 40 amps. So that, that was already set up on the charger. 40 amps here, 240 volts, and we're charging at about 30 to 31 miles per hour, which is a great charging rate. So for example, this is the Tesla Model Y. If it needs to charge up 100%, it's like you know, 310 miles total. So if we're doing 30 miles in an hour, we have to charge up, you know, from zero all the way to 100%, which really will never happen. You'll, I'll never get this down to zero, but it could do that. Like in 10 hours overnight, it could do that. So I, I really don't need to have faster charging speeds for my use at 40 amps. You can get the hardwired version that would be able to go at 48 amps if you needed faster charging rates. You could do that on a 60 amp breaker. But for my use, this would be plenty. If you're parking at home, if you're parking at night, and you know my car is usually charging you know, 10 to 12 hours overnight anyways, so this is plenty of charging. Now, some cars don't have you know, the ability to schedule charging, stop, unlock, adjust the current. So that's why this Emporia charger does have that option on its app. 
But, you know, with Tesla, they do have schedule. You can have time of use. You have a lot of that on the Tesla app. But this is a great charger. Let's say if you have multiple EVs at your house or maybe a non-Tesla car, you've got a Nissan, a Kia, a Ford, Chevy, whatever it might be, a Lucid, Rivian, you can get this, and then it's also going to be compatible with all these other brands and Tesla with the adapter as well. For this car, I can just, if I just push down the handle here, it will stop the charge. I do need to hold on to the adapter to pull this out. Sometimes the adapter might stand there. So you just push down that, just like you would on the Tesla plug, you just push down, that stops the charging. I would have to manually open that. But it works very well, very, very seamless operation with Tesla. All right, here you can see how long this cord is. It's even coiled up right here. It goes all the way down. I've got a lot of slack. I could even charge, like I said, out in the driveway with a car backed up there. So I like that this has that big 24-foot cable. This is also weatherproof. So if you wanted to install this outside, definitely doable. Get at least a weatherproof plug enclosure if you're going to plug into the, the NEMA 1450 plug here. And this looks really nice in the garage wall. You can get the black or the white to match your garage. So overall, guys, I'm impressed with this charger. I like the features. I like this, this plug holder right here. I really like that feature. The app is very easy to use. It's very intuitive. It's a great, great monitoring option for the app. You've got Wi-Fi, so you've got instant updates to it. The cord length is very, very nice on this. 24 feet from right here all the way to the back of the car, so I don't have to get an extension cord out. You don't have to have the plug right next to the car. This is in the front of my car, and it reaches all the way to the back or even my driveway. So a lot of versatility when you have a longer cord. It's also really easy to install. This didn't take very long at all. The big thing is that having the plug already installed in my garage, that's a big help. So if you're looking at an EV, you're looking to see what charging options, get the NEMA 1450 plug installed in your garage with the 50 amp breaker. That's just going to make a lot of possibilities with EV chargers like the Emporia one here. You can just plug right into it and all you have to do is mount it because mounting was very simple on this. Guys, well, thanks for watching the video. Big shout out to Emporia for partnering with the channel for this video. This is a great value. I'll leave the link down in the description below. Feel free to leave your comments. Hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.